Are you traveling with your gun? Here's five states you might want to avoid. But before we get into the details, we have a gun giveaway going on. It's happening right now. It is absolutely free, but it ends really soon. So click the link in the description to find out which brand new gun you could win. All right, so there are some states out there, can you believe it, that don't want us gun owners hanging around. So here are five states you should avoid and why you should avoid them if you're traveling with your firearms. State number one, Connecticut. Connecticut does not have any gun reciprocity agreements with any other state. This means non-residents are not allowed to carry their guns anywhere in Connecticut. Well, of course, unless they're locked up in a box. So don't even take your guns to Connecticut. Just avoid the state altogether. Uh, again, you can lock them in a box, but it doesn't help you to defend yourself. Also in Connecticut, you have to endure a mental health check and get two different state permission slips if you want to buy a gun. But, but we're traveling there, so we're probably not gonna buy guns on vacation. Well, certainly not in Connecticut. And if you carry a gun past a no guns allowed sign in Connecticut, that is a class E felony in that state. So there's no preemption law in the state either. So every city can have different laws. You can be driving through Connecticut and go from one jurisdiction to another and the gun laws will be totally different. So if you're carrying a gun or you want to travel with your gun, avoid Connecticut. Also avoid Hawaii, a great vacation destination, isn't it? Not if you're taking a gun. Non-residents may transport a firearm to the state provided that they possess either a hunting license, a shooting preserve permit, or an invitation to shoot on private land, or they have written notification from a firing range indicating that the person will engage in target shooting at that range. Any firearm must be registered at a police station within 72 hours of arrival in Hawaii. Current laws require fingerprinting and having a photograph taken if you wanna buy a gun. Also in Hawaii, licenses are required provided for each firearm make, model, and serial number, so separately for all of them. Until the recent Supreme Court decision, the state didn't hardly issue any permits. I think there was three, maybe, maybe less. So we'll see what happens now. All right, Massachusetts is another state you don't want to be taking your gun to. They don't honor any permits from any other state, and they impose really harsh penalties on the mere possession and transport of firearms without a license to carry. So magazine capacity is limited to 10 rounds in Massachusetts and open carry is technically legal with a license. I think that is called a class B license. They no longer issue class B licenses, but there are still some that are available or that are out there. They're still being used, but open carry is very uncommon. And there have been reports in the state that some jurisdictions will use open carry or the display of a firearm, even if it's accidental, as grounds to revoke your firearms license or to charge you with different crimes like menacing or brandishing or something like that. So Massachusetts is, is, is causing trouble for travelers. Prospective travelers, people headed to Massachusetts are encouraged to contact the Massachusetts Firearms Records Bureau or the state police for more information before they go to the state. Number four, New Jersey. New Jersey has some of the most restrictive firearms laws in the country. They also have a 10 round magazine limit and they have serious restrictions on hollow point ammunition. So hollow points are technically legal in the state, but only for hunting. In fact, there is an entire webpage that tries to make clear all of the restrictions placed on hollow point ammo in that state. You must have a firearms purchaser's ID card in order to buy guns or ammo in the state. If you don't have a New Jersey permit to carry a handgun, firearms must be transported in a locked case separate from the ammunition, unloaded, and inaccessible to the person driving the car. So if you're transporting a gun in a car, it should not be in the passenger compartment. But if you must place it in the passenger compartment, it must be in a locked container. It is illegal to carry a pistol or ammunition in the glove box of your vehicle, even if it is locked. And here's something really interesting. The New Jersey Supreme Court has ruled that anyone traveling within the state 
is deemed to be aware of these regulations and will be held strictly accountable for violations. And that law, Ravel versus Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, is the case that they use for this. So just going to New Jersey means that you know the laws. So please use extreme caution when traveling through New Jersey. And finally, New York. Extreme caution doesn't even begin to talk about traveling through New York. New York's general approach is to make life difficult for gun owners. Consider this, okay? Just ammunition. An ammunition seller or firearms dealer may not transfer any ammunition to anyone other than a licensed dealer unless he or she conducts a check against records maintained in the state's electronic database and also receives an identifying number for the transaction and signifies that the transferee is not prohibited by state or federal law from possessing the firearm or the ammunition. And an ammunition seller or gun dealer must also make sure check a valid driver's license or other photo identification of the prospective purchaser prior to the transfer. That's, that's just for ammo. You can get a state license to carry a handgun, but that's generally invalid in New York City. A license is valid if the firearm covered by the license has been purchased from a licensed dealer within the city of New York and is being transported immediately out of the city from the dealer by the licensee in a locked container during a continuous and uninterrupted trip out of the city or if it's being transported by the licensee in a locked container and the trip through the city is continuous and uninterrupted. So they don't even want you to stop in New York City if you don't have a New York City permit, which is different than the state permit. Possession of a handgun within New York City requires this New York City handgun license or a special permit from the city police commissioner. Possession of a shotgun or a rifle within New York City requires a special permit which is available to non-residents, and you also need a certificate of registration. So you have to register that shotgun or rifle just to have it there. There is supposedly a preemption law in New York, but a number of localities, including cities like Albany, Buffalo, New York City, Rochester, Suffolk County, and Yonkers, impose their own special requirements on the possession, registration, transport, and sale of firearms. They all have their own websites and you can check them all out there. New York is a very difficult place for gun owners. You should avoid it at all costs because you can wind up in very serious trouble. Most of the problems you encounter in New York are felony level problems, so stay away. So we got five places you should avoid. Connecticut, Hawaii, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New York. If you're traveling with a gun, these are the places you are most likely to get in very serious trouble. It's a true story of self-defense. We interviewed an armed Lyft driver who was carjacked to help answer these questions. Should I carry a gun while driving? And what does a carjacking actually look like? Just click the video next to me to watch this must-see interview.